Hey folks, this is Max and welcome to another Octa Workflows video. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to delete rows from a table. So I'm going to use this table and I have numbers. So really just one column. And let's say I want to delete all the negative numbers here. So we're going to first search and then uh, pass the rows to helper flow. And then this is how we're going to delete uh, these numbers. All right, so let's go to... Uh, to workflows here to the folders and let's create a new flow and first this is going to be the main i like to use say main and this is going to be find uh, numbers if i can numbers and let's click here and then click save so the first step is going to be i'm going to use uh, search uh, and then search rows i'm going to choose a table I think some numbers. Now I'm going to say uh, all matching rows. And then I can configure this. I don't need these values and click save. Now I'm going to set the expression and I'm going to say that the number, so that's the column from the table. I want this to be, I want all the numbers less than zero. Okay, now quickly going here, there are four numbers. So this is one, two, three, four. And if I test, I should have four records, right? So this card works correctly. All right, next is uh, I need to use the for each card and then choose a helper flow. Now, I don't have a helper flow yet. So I like to first create a helper flow and then come back here. So let's save. Let's create a helper flow. Give this a name, helper, delete row. Uh, it's called delete row, but of course you can call it delete number. It doesn't really matter. Now to make a flow to be helper flow, we need to use the helper flow card. And then, uh, then we're going to figure out what data um, to pass into this flow. So um, let's say you want to pass the row ID. Okay, So the row ID, um, now you can pass the entire row as well, but you can also just pass a particular um uh, information from, from the row. So we're going to just use the row ID. And then here we're going to say delete, delete row uh, from the tables card. And we're going to choose a table. So add some numbers. And now we just have to connect like this. Okay. So we are done here. Let's go back to our main flow, find numbers. And now we can finish this. So an edit function, and this is for each. And we want to select the one from list, not the object, so list. So first, we're going to connect the rows here. And then we're going to choose the helper flow we just created. And so delete row. All right, and notice that this input appeared, right? So this input, let me open helper flow. So this input is coming from, from here, right? So again, this input, notice the row ID label or name matches here. So if I had more inputs here, they would appear here as well. Now, now I need to sort of choose what data to pass. And then I use this drop down little arrow. And as you can see, um, I can pass different data types. I mean, I can pass the entire row as I said before, uh, but in this case, we're passing just the row ID, okay? So we're gonna pass the row ID to, uh, for each helper flow invocation, and then in turn, this row ID will be used to delete record, all right? So let's click, let's actually enable this, turn this flow on, this is the helper flow. Let's turn on the main flow, and then this is our table, we'll come back here. Uh, and let's click test and see. All right, so this is the main flow. And let's go to helper. And we can see four invocations, which is correct because we had four negative numbers. And if I go here and I need to refresh, and it worked, right? The um, the four rows uh, that held negative numbers 
were removed. Um, so that's all I wanted to show you. Um, uh, again, um, once you pass the raw ID, you can um, you can delete uh, the row. I mean, you can also pass, as I said, the entire row. Um, and of course, you can make you know if you need to do something else besides deleting, um, you can do that uh, as well. Just of course, use different cards uh, depending on what you're trying to do. Um, so I hope this was helpful, and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.